good. The Rota Animal Welfare League and Military Working Dogs teamed up to provide obedience lessons to pet owners looking to better train their dogs. The volunteers taught different techniques that work best when trying to get your dog to follow basic commands, such as sit, stay, or heal. Uh, we're just doing the basic introductions on how to train a dog different ways, different methods that we've used. Uh, successful approximation is the most basic one, but we use a clear signals training out here. Um, it's just showing that you give one command and you give a certain signal towards the dog to represent that command and eventually the dog just correlates the proper response to the command that you've given them. The easiest way to do it is to kind of entice the dog to pay attention to you and then once the dog's focused on you, you have the reward in front of them, you give them the command and when the dog starts to respond to the method that you wanted to, you praise them right there in that position. It's important to build a relationship with your dog and eventually get to the point where you're both on the same page. I mean, you want to go out for a walk with your dog, you don't want to have the dog running around, peeing on everything, digging and everything. It, you look more confident, you look more controlled when your dog's controlled. It, prevents a, it presents a better image between you and you know, your pet, plus it builds that bond. If you have that better rapport with your animal and you can build these things and do more obedience tests, it, the dog knows you're my owner and things just smooth out from there. Seaman Jordan Delgardno, Rota, Spain.